I want you to be aware there's a software limitation. It can lead you to missing selectivity issues. Hi, my name is Jarek Vitek. I am building services engineer, electrically biased. I know a lot about BIM and information management. In this video, I'm going to show you a glitch I found yesterday, reported it to Trimble, and hopefully they will fix it. Let's jump straight to it. First of all, the version. The version of the software I'm working on is 22.0.14.14. Today is 25th of January 2024. The problem is when you have installation with protected devices from different manufacturers. Unfortunately, it happens quite often. Manufacturers only report the tables for selectivity for their own range, for their own devices. As far as I know, there is no data which can show you selectivity range for different manufacturers. Pro Design offers you the graphical representations for the time, time current discrimination, which is very handy. What I discovered is I have errors, but ProDesign reports them as OK. Let me demonstrate that to you. Let me change this device. So I'll go to protection and change that device to that device, rated 100 amp. If you look at the graph, let's just increase that. So if you look, that's the green one is my 100 amp MCCB I just changed. And the red is my upstream protection for the cable C10, 400 amp Schneider NSX. And this green one is Hager. So you can clearly see I cannot achieve time current discrimination, right? Let's OK that. Run selectivity study. So I've got issue with PB1 and origin. I ignore that because that's not part of the video. It's a problem with a device at the transformer which I haven't got the details of. Let's just run report, OK? I'm going to run energy-based selectivity. I'm going to select DBMP and only the cable C10 from BB1. So in here, this cable is protected by Schneider device, and all devices in here are protected by Hager. I should not have a report because there's no manufacturer's data which would prove or disprove that you're achieving energy-based discrimination. But I will get a report from ProDesign. So let's wait. OK, I've got report. And look, it's reporting errors between 800 amp NS MCCB and 63 amp MCCB in, in my uh, panel DBLG. That's ridiculous. I can obviously achieve energy-based discrimination between those two devices. So why is that error? It shouldn't be an error. OK, let's ignore that one. And let's run time current selectivity. And that should show error, right? Let's wait a minute. OK, and I'm going to select DBMP. And let's just select that one cable, actually. OK, I will select C10. And it says it's OK. How is that OK? Look, let's select the cable. Let's go to protection, view graph, and look at the report. How is that OK? You, you can't achieve discrimination here. The protected device curves overlapping, so that should not be OK. That's what I wanted to show you. Please be aware that there are software limitations. Don't just trust the software and go ahead and assume everything is right. You have to manually check and look at the graphical representations of the characteristic of the protected devices to verify whether you're achieving selectivity, used to be called discrimination, or not. That's it. Hopefully, you will find this video useful. And see you later. Have a nice day. Bye.